Hi, and welcome to IoT for Everyone, Part 1. Um, I'm Andrew Baumos, and in, in this video we're going to work through the process of making a push-to-email IoT button. If you've never programmed before or used any devices like this, don't worry. We're going to leverage a completely graphical method in today's video, and in future videos we'll get more into the gory details of programming. But before we get started, let me introduce myself. Like I said, I'm Andrew Baumos. I'm a staff member in the Agricultural uh, Research and Graduate Education uh, here at Purdue University, as well as a PhD candidate in the Open Ag Technologies and Systems Group. Before we uh, really get into the meat of the project, let's try to define what we mean by Internet of Things, or IoT. Uh, to start, it's the buzzword of this generation for sure, but for good reason. It has come a long way and has tons and tons of promise and uh, not something that you should ignore. But its origins start with Kevin Aston uh, when he was the executive director at the MIT Auto ID Center. And he defined IoT as a system where the internet is connected to the physical world via ubiquitous sensors. I take that to mean just about anything can be IoT. And I think that's kind of true. But since 1999, I think the idea has evolved. And my take on it is something more like, IoT are things that communicate with other things and to do useful work and with only essential user interaction. So basically what that means, as long as uh, whatever it is, a, do a doorbell to a complicated computing system, as long as they can communicate with each other and they do something useful and they do it without me interacting with it all the time, uh, then it's IoT. And then a design goal on within this framework is that basically complex systems appear to be a single simple system. You may have played with, with things like this, like Google Home and uh, home automation, turning on and off your lights from your cell phone, opening your garage or unlocking your car uh, from across the country, things like that. So what's the impact on something like IoT? Well, there's lots of things you can look at and resources you can um, study to, to, to prove that there is a major impact, but one of the simple ones that I like to look at is um, from Professor Klaus Schraub. He founded the World Economic Forum and basically he writes that he believes the IoT will usher in the fourth industrial revolution of, of our world. And uh, that report uh, from Goldman Sachs uh, that defined some of these ideas um, claims that by 2020 the IoT industry may be worth more than two trillion dollars. Okay, so I believe the best way to learn is to you know, just start by doing with a simple example, build some intuition, and then fill in the details uh, later where you can sort of um, understand how they fit together. So in that uh, regard, let's just get started building this push to remind uh, uh, IoT device. So just like uh, any good design problem, we're gonna try to define what the problem is and who the user is, and then uh, develop the solution. So in this case, what we're trying to solve is that farmer, uh, the farmer Frank, uh, always forgets to order supplies when they're low, and then that gets a backlog in the following days when he can't do the maintenance that he needs to do in his shop. So our solution is to develop a Wi-Fi connected button, and that seems reasonable because this is his shop, and you could probably install Wi-Fi within it. And this button, when you push it, will send an email to whoever does the purchasing on the farm to indicate that there is some sort of restock needed so that it doesn't get forgotten. Uh, that may be that whoever pushed the button will eventually remember to email or talk to that purchaser to tell them what needs to be ordered, or if that person forgot, like the original problem states, at least the purchaser now knows that they need to track, that, track someone down and figure out what is to be ordered. So the plan of attack here is to use an IoT device that, sends a, that uses a predefined uh, webhook to a cloud platform called IFTTT, and when this webhook gets sent, uh, IFTTT will email the email on file. If you've never heard of the term web, web, hook, be, web, web hook before, uh, it's essentially a standard HTTP request and what that means is it's the same thing as when you click a link in your web browser to go from your Google search results into whatever page uh, Google found for you. So in essence when you push the button this IoT device will click a link that causes an email uh, to be sent. 
Uh, if you've ever seen the buttons from Amazon that uh, you can uh, pre-program a uh, product that you would like ordered in, into this little button, you can install the button near to wherever you store it, and whenever you push the button, you automatically get that product ordered and mailed to you. This is sort of similar, uh, except that we're not totally closing the loop and automatically buying the supplies. <laughs>